everyone, it's Caro, your favorite Pescovini vegan, coming to you for our Meatless Monday recipe. Today's recipe comes from the All Recipes Dinner Spinner app, a favorite of mine, and it is the pizza pasta, but in the Instapot. So we've got our Instapot on saute. We're doubling this recipe, so it calls for a half a pound of Italian sausage. We have a full pound of Beyond Meat Hot Italian Vegan Sausage. Then it calls for a third of a cup diced onion. We're using minced onion. I use three tablespoons because we're doubling the recipe. And you saute that first. Now if we had, if we were using anchovies, which we are not, you would use four anchovy fillets and you would be sauteing them in here too. And this is a couple of tablespoons of EVOO, but you have to understand, the Beyond Meat, the vegan meat, it has this residue when you cook it and you can kind of see it on there. No matter how much olive oil I use, it's hard to get it to come up. It comes up later, but that's what's going on there. That's what that is. It is pretty much cooked. So we're going to cancel the saute function and then we're gonna move on to the next part of the recipe. So we're not using anchovy flays. At this point, we would put in Two thirds a cup of bell pepper, because we're doubling it, and a full cup of sliced mushrooms, and four tablespoons of black olives. But since I am not using any of those things, <laughs> some of which I'm allergic to, but some of which just yuck. So <clears throat> those would be put in now. You would stir it, <coughs> and then you would turn off the saute function. So I did. Now, we scatter the pasta evenly on the mixture. So it calls for three-fourths of a cup brown rice pasta. We're actually gonna use one and a half cups. <coughs> All right, so that's double. Then you pour on that a fourth of a cup of Merlot wine. I don't have any wine and it'll be a half a cup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use balsamic vinegar. This is a wine substitute if you don't have any. We're gonna put a little bit in the bottom of the measuring cup. And then remember it says a half, a fourth of a cup, so we're gonna do a half a cup doubling it. And then you use stock for the rest of it. So we're gonna use our veggie stock here until it gets to half a cup and then pour that over the top here. And then it says one and a half cups pasta sauce, but we're using three because we're doubling the recipe. So you spread the pasta sauce evenly on top of the pasta. Do not stir, no stirring. So we need three cups of pasta sauce. I'm using Prego Traditional. This one was already open, so I'll use it first. That's one cup, and it says do not stir. So we're not gonna stir. I wonder if we'll get two out of this. I don't know, maybe. Let me open the other one here. All right, this is number two. And we need one more. pasta sauce. It says spread it over, so we're going to use the back of our little Instapot device here to spread it. <laughs> All right. Now it says to put the lid on. Then select ceiling high pressure, so we're gonna put it on eight minutes. All right, it has started. When it is done, we have to let it natural release for 20, 20, I'm trying to do a zero, 20 <laughs> minutes, and then after that, you vent it and do the quick release until it's done, and then that's where I'll catch it back up with you. 
Okay, so we've done our 20 minute natural release and then I did a quick release and it didn't need any more, it was done. Um, the pasta in this is gonna be al dente when you cook it. So if you want it to be a little bit softer, you could cook it for probably a minute longer, but it's fine. So this calls for a half a cup of mozzarella. So we're gonna use a full cup, since we doubled the recipe, of Daya mozzarella. So vegan cheese. And it just says sprinkle over the top. So we sprinkle, sprinkle. Then it says half a teaspoon garlic powder. So we're gonna use a full teaspoon of garlic powder. You know how I like my organic garlic granules. Then it says a fourth of a teaspoon Italian seasoning. Now, you know how I like to read the reviews on this and they said that wasn't enough Italian seasoning. So I'm gonna do, doubling it would only be half a teaspoon. I'm gonna do a full teaspoon and probably two because they said it was kind of bland with just a fourth of a teaspoon. And then salt and pepper to taste. So we're using our sea salt here. Shake that on there. Some black pepper. Okay, and then it says to go ahead and stir. So we're gonna stir it up, mix this all together. Wow, that's not bad. Consider it it's vegan. Look, it's coming off the bottom. That's great. Stir it up, stir it up. The noodles are perfect. I wouldn't do them much more than that just because a rice noodle can get mushy, a gluten-free noodle. All right, so we've stirred that up. All right, I'm gonna taste it. Oh wow, that's really good. Tastes like sausage pizza, but it's pasta. It totally worked. So I highly recommend it. I'm always like a little nervous with Instapot recipes, especially with pasta in them, but this one turned out well. So I definitely recommend it. I'm gonna put a link to the actual recipe, the original in the description box below, cause I changed it quite a bit and I doubled it, but it turned out really well. So I hope you guys give it a try.